Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. But today, it is not a normal Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Why? Because on Saturday, I hit 1000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions of course, just for being very kind and watching my videos. So thank you all so much and hopefully I can continue making these types of videos for you. So of course, because it is a 1000 subscriber special, this video has to be a little bit special. So over the last few videos, I've been asking you guys what I should build and you really delivered. You know, you, you commented a load, so thank you so much. But the one I really loved was from a long-term subscriber called Raged Falcon, who asked for a working printer, and I loved that idea. So hopefully, Raged Falcon, this is alright for you, because this is my printer for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So how does a Minecraft printer actually work? Because we have paper and we have ink, but that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> So what we have to do is we fill up a double chest full of concrete powder in a set design, maybe a pattern, maybe a piece of art or a word or something like that. And then the machine will build that exactly like that, but with full concrete blocks down here. So that's basically the principle behind it. You have concrete powder in here and it translates into concrete blocks into a set pattern. Now this is my first design based heavily on the design by, by Mumbo Jumbo, but the problem with this is extremely slow. It uses very standard item uh, sorters, and the whole thing is, is quite slow. It takes 12 minutes to print off just one double chest, which is very slow. <laughs> now, I thought I could do better than this, and I'm so glad I did try, because this one, this one prints not in six minutes, not in four minutes, no, this one prints in two minutes and 16 seconds. But you probably can notice, I have two double chests. Now, why do I have two? Well, this one can actually do two double chests at one time. So you can have a bottom of your design and the top to make a double height piece of art. So as you can see, I have the bottom of a heart, you can see here, and on this, you have the top. So it knows when this one's empty and when the, this one's full, so it'll take one from the t this top one until this one is completely empty, and then it will start emptying this one. So to explain how it, t it works to you, what I'm going to do is just going to literally print it. So press this button, and as you can see, it's starting to take the items from here. So what happens, it takes an item, top left to bottom right, and once this one is done, like we said, it will start clearing out these ones. So at the moment it's taking light blue concrete. So the light blue concrete is going down this hopper line into these droppers and getting fired across under, above, sorry, these item sorters. And when it goes above the one with the light blue concrete in, so this item sorter has light blue, as you can see, when it goes through there, this comparator will detect it, unpower this torch for a second, which will unpower this piston just enough time so one can go down, but not all of them, obviously. <laughs> And then after that, now our concrete's in free fall. And as you can see, it's getting shot toward the middle with these little things. Now, I'm really proud of how small I've managed to get these. Um, I was watching Il Mango's video on a printer, and he uses slime block launchers, but with timing circuits. And that's really good, but in Bedrock Edition, I found that it was a little too... It's inconsistent, really. It, it, was, it was okay, but this works better, because this works 100% of the time. So what happens, the concrete lands on the piston, the power goes through the concrete, powering this redstone dust, which powers this piston, which pushes down this redstone block down to here, which unpowers this piston. So the concrete powder lands, then starts to fall because this piston is unpowered, and at the same time, this observer yeah, gets powered because it recognizes this has moved, which uh, extends this sticky piston, pushing our concrete, as you can see because if you just pushed concrete normally with a slime block, it will just push like a normal block. So you have to make it into a state of free fall by taking away the piston from underneath it. If you understood that, well done. <laughs> I didn't explain it very well. But when you build it, you can see, you can have a mess around with it and you can see how it works. So once it gets down to the middle, all it does is it gets fired round and we start building. 
And when it gets to the end here, you can see it goes up. Now you're probably wondering why I wasn't running out of concrete powder. Basically, I have command blocks underneath the floor which just replace them when one falls or one gets broken. You can do this manually of course, this whole build can be made completely without command blocks. I'm just using them to replace them whilst I was talking to you, otherwise I'd be up here having to replace and having to uh, describe what was happening down there and it could get a little bit difficult. So <laughs> that is why I've used command blocks, but of course you don't need to use command blocks in your own build. So it works very quickly and very efficiently, works 100% of the time, never breaks. It's a pretty good build to be perfectly honest, I really like this thing. So without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build you are going to need 43 regular pistons, 33 sticky pistons, 16 observers, 78 repeaters, 19 comparators, 35 hoppers, 32 redstone torches, 122 redstone dust, 14 redstone blocks, 14 slime blocks, 16 levers, 2 obsidian, 18 droppers, 21 chests, 41 concrete powder of each colour. So for every colour you want in the printer you will need 41 of each colour to go in the dropper circuit. Then you want 64 random blocks, so a block which you know is never going to go into your system, otherwise it will break it. One water bucket, one stone button, however many blocks you need for decoration, and loads and loads and loads of blocks for your rest then to go on. Okay, because this build is so complicated, I'm going to try and do it nice and slowly, and hopefully we can understand what we're all doing. Because if you make a mistake with this, <laughs> it's very easy to break if you make a mistake. So, start with firstly with a block 30 blocks above the ground. If we build this on 30 blocks, then the bottom block will be on the floor. Now you want to come 7 more, so make an, a line of 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And have comparators on each running toward the back. Then we want blocks like this. Dust on them. Blocks underneath them and torches facing on this side underneath the comparators. Then we want to place a block underneath like this, one to the right, move that block, and again a line of blocks. Have repeaters going into the blocks with the torches on them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then a block here, one up, move that block, and a line, like that. Torches here, again we should have eight and blocks here, and then dust on every block which hasn't got anything on it. Like that. Now you want to repeat this process over here, but basically what you want to do is repeat it like you're doing it just a continuation, but leave a one block gap. So start it again here, but eight along again. So I'll do the first bit with you, and then I'll just time lapse it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just did count to eight, didn't I? That's it. So you just repeat that over here, but just make sure you have a one block gap. That is vital. Okay, after you've done that, Grab a hopper, and what you want to do is crouch and place it going in toward that comparator. So make sure it is looking toward the comparator on each one. Then underneath we can have one facing downward, again on each hopper.
Okay, now come to the first hopper, so the far left if you're looking at it this way, and place a block here. Then place a dropper facing toward the right. We can remove that block, and we want a line of droppers facing toward the right. Whoops. All along until we reach the end. Like that. Then we can place a chest here. Then underneath every one of these hoppers we can place a chest. Again, if we face this way, the uh, chests are going to connect. So if you want to just chest, chest this way, no, <laughs> face this way and place the chest like this. So they won't connect like that. Now we can fill our hoppers in with the items. So you can either, in the first one, this, this is going to be white concrete powder. You can either get 41 out by trying to split them up like this, or you can put 64 in the first one and then quickly put the four items in like this, 64, and then put your four items in, and then it will go down to 41, and the rest will be filtered into our uh, chest below. As you see, 41. So it's up to you. You can either put 41 exactly in, then put the four diamonds in, or you can put the stack in. I personally put the stack in because it's quicker for me, but it's up to you. So light grey is next. Now dark grey. Now black, of course you can change this, uh, uh, what colours go in which uh, hopper if you like, but I'm just copying how it's set out in the inventory. Red. Orange. Yellow. Next one is green. Dark green. Cyan. I just realised <laughs> I'm not even reading the colours, I'm just making it up. Light blue. Good job, I'm not colour blind. <laughs> Dark blue. Purple. Magenta. And then the pink. Like that. And in your chest you should see that you have your items which are filtered through, but every hopper should have exactly 41 of the coloured concrete and then for random blocks. Perfect. Now looking toward the back we want to come to the right hand side so the only dropper without any hoppers next to it. We want to place a hopper going into the top of it like that. Then place a block next to it and come out two more. Move these two and have a comparator, sorry, a <laughs> comparator, <laughs> have a sticky piston <laughs> going in. Oh dear, keep taking the tablets. Then on top of this sticky piston have a chest here and one next to it. A hopper going into that bottom hopper, and then another hopper here, a sticky piston, whoops, facing inward here, and then another chest here, and one here. Like that. So when these sticky pistons would extend, they would grab this hopper and this hopper. Now come to the far left, and we want to place a block on the first dropper, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, the eleventh, the thirteenth, yep, the fifteenth and the seventeenth, like that. And in between them, we don't want to place the block here, we want to place it here. In between every single one, going along. We can actually place one more out and then one more up like that. And have repeaters going toward the left on two ticks. So this would ordinarily be a hopper line, but we're using a dropper line to make it even faster. Come around this side. And what I want you to do is place a line of blocks like this all along. Okay. Then we want dust, which I haven't even picked up yet, that was clever. <laughs> dust on this one. So where there is a repeater, we want dust. So in line with the repeater, place dust like this. Okay. And then on these ones, we want repeaters. We can move that block on two ticks going along. So in line with the blocks, there should be a repeater on two ticks. Okay, next thing we want to do is come over to this hopper here and place a block next to it like that. Then place a block here and one up, move that block, and have a comparator running away from that block, which will compare this hopper here. Then place a block here, whoops, one to the side, one up, move that block, dust on this block, block underneath this one and one to the left and have a repeater running into that block like that. Then place a block here, one to the back, 
one round like this and to the right, dust here and dust on these two and a repeater on one tick going toward the back like that. So what that does is when an item goes through our system, it's going to go down these hoppers and when it passes through this hopper into this dropper, this comparator will realize it, send a pulse through these droppers, firing them like this and they're going to be sorted into our item sorters. So if I just put some ran something random in like dust, most than dust, you can see it gets fired across really quickly and now it's in our chest, which is a lot faster than using a dropper system. Okay, now we want to come over to this left hand side looking toward the front. And what we want to do is place a block here. Next to it, we want to place a slab. Make sure it's a slab, not a full block, otherwise it will cut off this redstone here. Then we want to place a comparator running away from that chest and dust here. We want a sticky piston here and a block on it like that. Then we want to place a block here and one next to it. Move that block. Have a comparator running away from this chest. Block here, one up. Move that block. Sticky piston facing downward and a block of redstone here. So what this basically does, when this one has any item in it, as you can see, now this sticky piston is locked to extended, so it can't take any items. So as soon as this one is finished, then our system can start taking the items from this one. Okay, now we want to place a block here, one to the left, move that block, one down, move that block and place dust here. Then from that dust, we want an observer, place a block, one underneath, Move that block. Repeater on four ticks, oh, four ticks coming away from that observer. Place a block here. Redstone torch here. Block on top of that torch and dust on top of that block, which should turn on. So you can see now they're both extended. Then we want to grab an observer and we want to place it up here, like that. Then place a block here. One more out. Move that block and place a sticky piston facing inward. We can move that block. Bizarre the duplication bug is back. Looks really strange, doesn't it? <laughs> then place a block here. And what we do is just grab a button. So this is our input. So at the moment, as you can see, nothing is going to happen because this block is not here. As soon as something's in our chests, this block can get in the way so we can actually start to activate it. And then the last thing we want to do is to grab a block here get a sticky piston and place it here, move that block, place the block on top, grab a lever, and this is our kill switch. So if something goes wrong, even if something's in here still, oh, sorry, before we do anything else, just place the block here and place dust on it like that. Sorry, otherwise, <laughs> I'm glad I tested that, otherwise that wouldn't work. So now when we flick the lever, see it would kill the switch because the redstone later, which I'll show you, is gonna come around here and it has to go through that block, so by pushing that block down, it's not going to be in the way. Can't believe I forgot that rest and dust. Silly me. <laughs>
Sorry, no, <laughs> that's completely wrong. Sorry, no, don't place a don't place glass there. I place glass here, on this side. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna be blocking uh, where the concrete's gonna go. That's better. I then have glass uh, <laughs> here. Again, underneath. And then one above. If you don't have this glass here, what will happen is it will take one concrete and then shove a few out, and it is a bit wasteful. And the same on the other side. So on top of the pistons, not on top of the arms. Some underneath. Some here. Like that. And some here. Okay, now we can actually fill these in with the concrete. So just make sure you have the right uh, blocks. So let's just get them in order. So your colours should correspond to the ones you have in here. So I have white as my first because in here there is white. And on the eighth I have yellow because this one should be yellow. You see? So just you can fill it up as high as you like. I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. Okay, so when you do this, just make sure each colour corresponds to each one like this. Otherwise, when you go to make your art, it could be a very different colour to what you were expecting. Okay, next thing we want to do is place the slime block launchers. Now, this can get slightly confusing, so just make sure you're paying attention. So what we want to do is place a block here, one underneath, and a slime block here. Move these two. Place a block here and one out. Move this block and have a sticky piston facing inward, like that. Then come underneath this uh, slime block and place two blocks, one, two, and have a regular piston facing upward here. Move these two blocks, place a block on top of that regular piston, two this way, repeater facing this way, and a lever and a flick it on, and it should, the repeater should turn on. Then grab a sticky piston and place it here, facing downward, block a redstone on its face, and this piston should extend. Remove that block. Then dust here, obsidian here, block here and dust here. Now we want six of these literally staggered on top of each other but the only stipulation is that they mirror every time. So I'll show you again. What you want to do is place a slime block here. So then come out two, move that block, sticky piston facing inward, move that block, two blocks down, regular piston facing upward, move these two, block here, two blocks out this way with a lever here. So you see it's being mirrored because on this one the lever was on the left this time the lever is on the right. Repeater should turn on. Place a block here. Have a sticky piston facing downward. We can remove that block. Block a redstone. That piston should extend. An observer. Block. And dust. Now, granted this can be quite confusing. So if you, if you get this and you can do it, just carry it on. So you want to repeat this um, two more times. So you want to have six in total going down. But for those who don't get it, don't worry, I will still keep doing this and I'll still keep talking through it <laughs> just so we know exactly what we're doing. So we've got one, two. So slime block here, come out two, move that block. Slime block here, move that block. Two blocks down, regular piston facing upward. Take out away those two. Block here, two blocks out. Sticky piston on this side facing downward and block of redstone. Move that block. Repeater, torch should be on. Observer here, block here, and dust here. So you see that's mirrored, that's one. Now again, come underneath, slime block, block here, block out, move that block. Sticky piston, move that block. Block here, block here. Regular piston facing upward, move these two. Block here, two blocks out like this. Repeater and a lever here, turn it on. Sticky piston facing downward. Block of redstone, remove that block, and observer facing this way, block here, and dust here. So at the moment we have one, two, three, four. So we want to do two more. So slime block, two blocks out. You're getting bored of this yet? <laughs> remove that block, sticky piston facing inward, remove that block, two blocks down, regular piston facing upward, move these blocks. Block here, two out, move that block, lever, 
Repeater, flick the lever on. Whoops. Put that block back. I've got to <laughs> place the sticky piston down. Remove that block now. Block of redstone. Dust on top. Observer facing this way. Block and dust on top of that. As if I thought I forgot this. Just make sure you have dust on top of these, stick uh, these sticky pistons with the uh, redstone block on them. That's it. So one, two, three, four. No, hold on. I counted that wrong. One, two, three, four, five. So one more. Slime block. Two blocks out. Move that block. Sticky piston facing inward. Two blocks down. Have a regular piston facing upward here. Move these two. Block here. Two blocks out. Repeater. Lever on. Sticky piston facing downward. Block of redstone. Move that block. Redstone dust on that sticky piston. Observer facing this way. Block and dust here. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Whew. <laughs> okay, now you've endured all of that. Now you have to do it on the other side. <laughs> what fun. So basically what you have to do is mirror what you've done on this side, but on this side. So firstly, place a block here, one out, move that block, sticky piston here, move that block, two blocks out, move that one, sticky piston facing inward, move that, two blocks down, piston facing upward, then place a block here, and have a sticky piston facing downward on this side, block of redstone, block, two blocks out, like that, lever here, sorry, lever, repeater here and a lever here, so literally as you see I'm mirroring exactly what we've done over here, and then have an observer facing this way, block here, dust and dust, so literally just mirror exactly what I've done on this side, on this side. Okay, like that, so make sure it's completely mirrored. And when I say you have to alternate between the left and the right hand side, you do need to do that, so make sure they do. So make sure they switch the sides all the way up. If they don't, this machine will break. Next, what we want to do is come over to firstly to this right hand side, and we want to place a piston here, then a block underneath, and another piston facing inward. Make sure they're regular pistons, not sticky pistons. Then place two blocks out like this, Block to the right, block down, move that block and one behind. Repeater here and here. Lever here, flick it on and place some dust here. Then we want to grab a piece of obsidian and place it here. Then place a block here and here and here. Dust here and dust here and then place a block between those two pieces of redstone like that. So what that would do is when the blocks come down, if they land on here, they can just get pushed toward the middle like a normal piston block travelator. Then we want to do the same on the other side, but um, minus the obsidian. So piston here, block, piston here, move that block, come to this side, place two blocks out like that, block here, one down, move that block, block here, L uh, repeater and a repeater here, lever on, dust here, block here, two blocks up like that, another one here, dust and dust and a block there. So you see it's repeated on that side, just mirrored without the obsidian. Okay, now our next step is to come over to the bit of obsidian which we placed down earlier underneath the piston here. And what we want to do is place a slime block here. Then come out the back and two, like that, remove that block, and a sticky piston facing toward the middle. 
and we want to make another one of these concrete block launchers. So come down two, piston up, move these blocks, place a block here, two out, repeater, lever here and turn it on, grab a sticky piston and face it downward here, block of redstone, dust here, move that block, place obsidian, sorry, observer, not obsidian, <laughs> block here and dust here. Then I want you to grab a block, place it here, one up, one to the side and then two more. So we have three. Then a block up like this, sticky piston here and a slime block here and a block here. Then dust on these two and then on these three blocks we want repeaters on two ticks. Now don't be tempted to put one on four, one on two then have some redstone dust because that will not work. They all need to be on two ticks, like so. Then place a block here. One to the left, move that block, and have a repeater on two ticks. Then grab a piece of obsidian, and place it in front of that repeater. Then place a block here, one to the left, move that block. One to the left again, one up, and one to the left again, move that block. A repeater here on two ticks, so it should all be on two ticks. Two, 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 and two, like that. Then four blocks out, one, two, three, four. Dust on all four, one, two, three, four, and a piston here, underneath that last block. Okay, now to finish off this build, all we have to do is firstly place a line of glass going straight through the center like this. So what we need to do is get into the center. Don't do that. Whatever you do, do not do that. What you have to do <laughs> is just remove that resin dust and then replace it again. Sorry, that was, <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> place a block here like this and place a glass here. Okay, and then we want to place glass all the way up, all the way up, through the middle, and as high as you want to go with the concrete powder. I found if you don't have glass in between them, sometimes they'll, they'll break more often, but that just might be a coincidence. But if I were you, do it as high as you want the concrete powder to go. Then what you want to do is come down to the bottom here. Firstly, place a block underneath this piston, one to the left, move that block. Then we want nine pistons facing upward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then on top of that piston, we'll place a block and have an observer facing outward like that. Block here, so the face should be the inside. Block here, block underneath, one to the right, move that block. Repeater going toward that block, and a block here with a repeater on two ticks going towards the repeater on one tick. Then we'll have to place blocks all around like this, one here, and then dust all on the ones like that. Then we want to place a block here, one out, remove that block, and blocks all along until the second to last one, then a block here. Dust all along. Then we want to grab some glass and place it here, all along until we reach into the, in the line of the obsidian, like that. Then we want glass here, glass up like this, and glass on this side so the water doesn't escape because this is where our water will be so when we put the water bucket down here it should finish on this block so when the concrete powder comes down gets fired across and gets here it will turn into concrete then get pushed across now the last thing we want to do is place a basically a frame a border so you want to place a block here one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. So 11 long and 14 high. So you count this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> then again 11 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. To make sure you've, you've actually done this frame right, just count from the from the bottom to the top and it should be 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So now we can just put blocks all the way up like this. Don't have to count these because I know it's going to be right. There we are. And that's everything completely done. Okay, now to give it its first proper test. So firstly, just make sure there is nothing in this dropper here first, because sometimes if there is a dropper, if there is an item in there, it's going to mess up our artwork. So what I've done is I've done high. So it's the same one as Mumbo Jumbo did. His one took 12 minutes, remember. 
and um, I'm hoping this is going to take 2 minutes 16 like the one over there if I've done everything right which is <laughs> pretty low <laughs> probably not going to happen we'll see we'll see if you're seeing this it probably has happened so moment of truth let's flick the button and first we should see black go down yes and as you see it's starting to take the items and they're getting fired round in order perfect let's just fill these up see normally you'd have to do this that's why i did the um command blocks on the other one Just keep them stocked up. To be honest, I don't really need to stock up the other colours, just black. And as you see, they're all falling down perfectly. Never getting stuck. That's perfect. That's looking good. You see the start? Oh, it's so nerve wracking. <laughs> right, what I might do now is just time lapse this. And then I'll join you back when it is finished. So now we're almost done. One more black after this one. Or have I missed one already? There we are. No, I had missed one. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. Hi. And I, I don't know yet how long that took. I'm just going to check in a minute. Just make sure it did take 2 minutes 16, like I said. But there we are. And of course, like I said before, if you wanted to do a double size art, just put the top section in the top one and the bottom section in the bottom. And then it will do like we did earlier with the heart over there. But perfect. Now, if you survived past that tutorial... Well done. <laughs> but sadly, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button. And hopefully we can get some thousand more for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye. And again, huge thank you for a thousand.